everybody, it's Kelsey. Welcome to my channel. Um, welcome back for everyone who was subscribed before and welcome for the first time to my new subscribers. We made it to 200, woo woo. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, like I said in my last video, it really means a lot to me that you guys took the time to subscribe. So today I am gonna show you guys some books that I got last time I was in Joann's and also a yarn subscription box that I just got in the mail today. Uh, Lether? 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 So uh, yeah, uh, before we begin, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like my videos. There's a little alarm bell you can click on that'll let you know every time I post. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. <laughs> so I haven't opened the subscription box yet. It's still all taped up. I'm sure you guys have probably seen it from other channels, but uh, I was just pretty excited to get it. I love getting subscription boxes. I think I told you guys that before. <laughs> I'm such a sucker for anything <laughs> that comes in the mail like that. So, um, I'm pretty sure it's called Lether Co. And I picked this one because I was watching Rose Likes Crochet and she said that um, even though she had canceled her subscription with them, she did like them. Um, she just was ready to try something new. And I thought, well, that sounded like an interesting uh, subscription. So I went for it. Oops, I opened it upside down. So here it is in its little box. here with the packaging open. So first, before we get to the yarn, I guess, is they sent a crochet hook, an Amour crochet hook by Clover. So it's a 2.25 uh, millimeter, so it'd be Oliver. Sorry, my cat is on the table. So if the Camera gets a little shaky, it's because he's trying to sneak into the box. <laughs> Jump off the table into the box, that's what he wants to do. So I always I always love getting crochet hooks. I feel like I never have enough. I always somehow leave them in the bags with the projects as I'm working on them, and then when I start a new project, I can't find the size that I need. So yeah, any extra crochet hooks I am definitely in for. I don't have any clover hooks. So uh, I'm definitely interested in trying it out. So, and then I got a little um, stitch marker. It's a little uh, black bead, which is cute because I I like really simple stuff like that. I mean. Actually, that's a lie. I like a lot of things. I feel like I've contradicted myself a couple of times in this video. Like, oh, I like gray and black. Oh, but I really love yellow and green. Like, um, no, but sometimes I'm in the mood for just like a simple little drop in the end. So I think that's really cute. All right. So this is the Peacock Collection. And it is Peacock Feathers. That's the name of this yarn. And it is a sock yarn, so I'm a little bummed about that. Um, I read that they do send out different weights of yarn, so a little bit bummed that my first one is a sock yarn. That being said, I've made some really cute things out of sock yarns. So this is 80% uh, superwash merino and 20% natural bamboo. 436 yards, so 100 grams. So each box, I know they send 100 grams of yarn. So there it is. I do like the colors. I like this mauve dark purple color, and I'm always down for green. Green is one of my favorites. Uh, and you dig in, and there's even like a more interesting like army green in there. So there's the yarn. Let's see what this has to say. 
So I guess those are the options you could have gotten. I got this one and you could get this one. And so the pattern for my color that I got is this scarf pattern. Here's the scarf. I probably won't use it for that. Um, it's kind of a small little scarf. I'll probably try and think of something else to use it for. And then this is the pattern that they had for the cotton. That little headband, like a tie headband. So, and then on the back they're talking about their advent calendar. And I wanted for so long to get an advent calendar of yarn, but I, uh, I don't know, mini, a lot, all of the ones I could find send out mini skeins, and I'm not sure what I would do with a bunch of mini ones. So, um, skeins, skeins, I always say it wrong. But yeah, I like this. I do like, I mean, I like merino wool, and it has bamboo in it, so that's interesting to me. Um, so that was my first yarn subscription box that I ordered and received, and I'm happy with it. So... I'm definitely looking forward to next month to see what what they send me. My husband was so relieved. I was like, oh, I canceled my skincare ones and got yarn. And he was like, that makes much more sense. And I, so. All right. So then the next thing I wanted to show you guys, um, which will be just real quick because um, I haven't started any projects out of any of these. But I got two books from the last time I was at Joann's. And this first one is Granny Square Source Book. And for a really long time, I've been wanting to make a, uh, a big Granny Square blanket to go over our king size bed. So I know that's going to take a super long time. And I know a lot of patience and, and uh, creativity. <laughs> So this is like, I got this in preparation for a year long or more project, one that I can make a couple squares and then move on to other things, make a couple and then um, we're going to be moving in, a, in two years, I think. And so uh, it probably won't even be done by then. So. <laughs> but I got this in preparation and there's a ton of different types of granny squares in here. There's like pretty much a new one on every single page. So, it, I definitely thought it would give me some inspirations. So, I'm excited about that. And there's some like more traditional looking ones and then some more complicated ones. And so, I've been looking for something like this for a while. All the ones I could find, he, see the cat hopped in the box. All the ones I could find at first were really small little books of granny squares or they were like, I found one that was cool but it was like the winds of, of granny squares or something and um, they just weren't, there wasn't like a big diversity of types of granny squares. So I'm excited about this, maybe I'll just make like one of each of these granny squares and then just put them all together and that will be our <laughs> our king size blanket um so that is the first book it's called uh granny square source book so it's got a hundred granny squares and they can be mixed and matched obviously um yeah and then the second book i got and i've got a um I took it to the doctor with me because I was at the doctor. So I got some paperwork that I shoved in there. Um, oh, there's an ant in there. How did an ant get in there? That's disturbing. Okay. Is the baby and kids crochet style. So I've been looking at this one actually for a while on Amazon and just didn't want to pull the trigger on it because I couldn't really see all of the projects in it from looking on Amazon and I just felt like you know there's so many cute patterns online there's so many good designers online and um, if I really want to make something I can I can find definitely find a pattern for it online but then at the same time 
I do have this, like, I love books, as you guys can see from my tour of my um, craft room, but I just have this desire to, like, go through a book and just make every single pattern in the book. <laughs> and for some reason, when I saw this book in Joanne's, I thought that this is going to be the book. It could just be because I had been thinking about it for a while and I finally saw it in person and was just, like, going to pull the trigger on it. So... It has some cute stuff, some hats, blankets, bonnets, which you guys already know I like to make. And um, and what's nice, something nice about it, but also a little annoying, so it's, it's both, is um, you know when you're working on a pattern and there's multiple different sizes that you can make, like zero month, like newborn, three month, six month or small, medium, large, it, a lot of patterns will show the first size will be the one that is, gosh, Oliver, will be the one that is um, outside of the parentheses and then there will be a parentheses for the stitches for the remaining sizes and instructions for the other sizes. So I like that because it like condenses the pattern and takes up less space. But it also, you've got to like really pay attention and then know which, which one you're following. With this one, with this book, uh, each size has its own pattern written for it. So this, see this first page, it's just, this whole page is just the three to six month size. And then now this whole page is just the toddler size. So that's nice because then you don't have to focus on um, trying to find your specific size in the pattern. You don't have to go through and highlight it. You don't have to think about that. But what ends up happening is this has this is a thick book and you think you're getting more patterns maybe out of it than you actually are because each, each um, size gets its own page. So that's just something I noticed. Um, and so there's booties, look, there's little booties. And there's um, a bunch of different types of booties. And then there's photography props. So like little blankets and teddy bears. That teddy bear looks crocheted. Oh, it's a lovey. Like a bearskin rug, like that rug is is a project in here. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. I think it's pretty cute stuff. So, I'm thinking about maybe just working through it and making one of each of these projects. So, that is all I have to show you today. I am looking into other subscription boxes and other magazine subscriptions as per my last video. So, I'll definitely let you guys know when those things come in. I have a couple projects I'm working on that are not ones I've told you about, so as soon as those get a little farther along, I'll make a video and update you guys on that. In the meantime, um, let me know what some of your favorite books are to work on, some of your favorite yarn subscription boxes, I've already asked you guys about that. Also, I was thinking about it last time, I put it in the description box because it was like an afterthought. Uh, that I wish I had put in the video, but what do you guys like watching or listening to while you knit or crochet? I watch a lot of um, Catfish, like MTV's Catfish. While I crochet, I also watch um, lots of crochet YouTube channels. I watch the vlogs while I crochet and it definitely motivates me to keep going, <laughs> you know, like uh, when I'm starting to dwindle in energy on a project, I'll watch some uh, crochet vlogs and uh, I'll feel fired up again because it's inspiring. All these people who I watch, it's inspiring to see all of you guys working on projects and, and sharing it with everybody. So <laughs> yeah, let me know below what TV shows you guys watch, what, um, yeah. And uh, I will talk to you guys later. I hope you guys are having a great week and take care of yourselves.